good I was getting ready to say good morning but it's not morning it's actually a Saturday night um, 7:41 on a Saturday to be exact and I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of like feeling pretty eh. Um, so I hope you guys cannot pick up that energy through the mic but um, or through this video but I just really want to get this tutorial out and I wanted to do a voiceover for it because um, you guys have been watching me do chrome sorry about that um, you guys have been watching me do chrome I have about probably four videos of me doing chrome on my channel um, but I wanted to come on here and give you guys a quick little update because as you can see if you have watched my videos before my chrome videos at least that I I don't have a top coat in this one or sorry I am literally all over the place okay I sorry I'm starting over okay take three and hopefully this is the last time so yeah in my chrome videos I normally always use a clear top coat before I do any nail art and I don't like to do that when working with chrome because I feel like I just want the chrome to just be where the chrome is supposed to be I don't like when chrome is in that nude area where it's not supposed to be so I this time had my clients get up and wash her hands there's a you saw that little mess up there look I've been messing up on my French too um French is you know you would think because I do it every single day it would be easier but you do kind of get you, you have those little mess ups anyway I have my client wash her hands because um I wanted to see if it would make a difference with like getting the dust off and I wanted to see if it would keep my gel polish application very very neat and in this case it actually really really worked i had to use a brush i asked her to use soap you know just to get like all that dust off and this is a french without a base coat top coat matte coat underneath of it and the gel like didn't spread it was super neat my link my lines stay super clean which i was like very 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 shocked about because i never do any nail art without any type of base anymore because you know it just doesn't always look super precise um, but again in this case if you have your client wash your hands or if you're doing your own nails wash your hands before you go in with the chrome and I just feel like it overall makes my chrome look better like even when I use the chrome powder which you'll see in a second um, it literally only sticks to the black like it won't really go on the new part because there's nothing there if you guys get what I'm saying so um yeah it, it when I come when I use the chrome I'll come back and that way you guys can see how neat my lines are okay that is what i'm that literally can you guys see like how straight my french is like how clean my french is that is no base coat so yeah i was like pretty pretty shocked about that i'm so glad i recorded this i'm so glad i got this on camera so i can show y'all like i don't really think i will be using a clear top coat under my chrome anymore so i wanted to definitely pass that along to you guys so you can use it on your next client save you guys some top coat because you don't really need it as you can see um i just kind of like this method way better like i don't see any reason to have a clear top coat on your nails before chrome anymore um which saves you product and time so yeah i just really was super impressed with how like clean my french stayed like honestly she didn't even need a chrome on top of this i like could have 
did a, a clear top coat on top of that black and then we could have been done but yeah i just wanted to like i said tell you guys my new update on my chrome routine i'm using a lot of chrome i use chrome at least like a few times a week so this is like really important for me so yeah if you're looking for chrome and you're looking for a chrome tutorial i am here to tell you that you don't need a base coat under your chrome because it technically is not needed so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial it's super quick super easy and let me know in the comments if you do your nails or do you be watching my videos because you have clients or you just want to take clients in the future you know we can chit chat in the comments and yeah let me know um i have another chrome video coming for you guys after this believe it or not you would think i'm tired of chrome but i'm not i think that chrome should be a staple on your nails all summer 2022 i've been seeing it on my instagram again if you don't even follow my instagram you should be following me on instagram i post on there every single day i post a story or a reel on there every single day because yeah i have i just be posting like the the net the nails that i do dur during the week on my clients i post on my instagram and i don't always record them so that's why i don't really post them on here every single day um yeah i don't record a tutorial every time but i always record a finishing finished product for my reel so yeah head over to my instagram if you want to see some daily content of the nails that i do every single day um but yeah i have another chrome tutorial coming for you guys i also have a water like a watercolor uh tutorial coming for you guys wasn't a fan but i'm going to show you guys anyway um because I think it's super interesting. We you know we're gonna do it. was like a little learning experience that we did together. And then I also have a photo shoot guys coming up, and I'm gonna do my nails for that, and they're gonna be super, super long. So you know I'm gonna record it. I don't know what the, the design will be yet, but we will see. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. And thank you for watching my channel. If you subscribe, thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next one. I don't want it.